Hi, good morning. Uh, today I went to my Facebook and a memory popped up and a, a, a photo I'd shared and some blurb next to it. And I had about 66 likes on this photo, so I was just curious. I went and had a look at the, the people who'd liked it and loved it and cared and all of that. And when I was looking down the list, I saw some of the people and, you know, it had at the side of it friends and uh, ad friend. And I thought to myself, wow, I used to be friends with that person. Why, why have they suddenly unfriended me? You know, taken the trouble to go to my wall and click unfriend. And then it got me thinking, you know, about, it, because this, how people accept us and like us, it can affect our psyche and it can cause stress in some people. So I reminded myself of the fact that people fall into groups, right, as far as I'm concerned, and how they view me. So some people will love me, some people will like me, some people will be neutral about me, and some people will just completely loathe me. And there's nothing I can do about that. There's no point in me changing, really, how I am <clears throat> as a person. Because if I try to change to adapt to get those people who don't like me to suddenly like me, then all that's going to happen is that the people that in this other category that used to like me are now not going to like me. Do you, do you see what I mean? And that's how it is. It's just nothing really to do with yourself if people don't like you but we all want to be liked right because liked is a form of acceptance <clears throat> so being disliked is a form of rejection and rejection takes the same neural pathways in the brain as physical pain that's why we don't like rejection and being unfriended on facebook or being disliked is a form of rejection, so you see how it works? But it's really nothing at all to do with you and everything to do with other people. But to go back to the, or rather it's about, more about, the, it's a numbers game, that's how I put it, you know, so X amount of people love you, loathe you, like you, or, or are neutral about you. But what about those people that, you know, that you were good friends with? Well, you had good interactions with and, and there was a couple on this post of mine that had unfriended me that I thought, oh, I thought we got on really well. And so I was a little bit surprised, you know, so then I also thought, well, it's again, it's not a case of necessarily me. And I don't like the saying that uh, someone's outgrown you, you know, that they, they've outgrown you or I've outgrown them, that's why we're no longer friends. I don't like that terminology because outgrown means, <clears throat> I think it implies a, a form of, or a sense of superiority, so I don't like that. But the way I look at it when somebody like that has unfriended me on social media is maybe just they'd learnt their lesson that they'd come to learn from me or maybe I've learnt my lesson from them because I'm guilty of unfriending people as well. So maybe that friendship or however deep it was has just taken its course and now you've decided to go your own separate ways and that's perfectly okay as well. So the takeaway I want you to have from this video is you know try not to be too stressed not everybody is going to like you and some even deep friendships, long friendships, can end, you know, and maybe it's just drawn its course and like I say, maybe you've learnt your lesson from them or they've learnt their lesson from you. So just accept that not everybody is going to like you or be friends with you forever. All right, and I hope that can keep your, you know, stress levels down. Keep enjoying the sun if you're here in England. It's beautiful, right?